So what if I told you guys that there is a product key out there that when you use it on your computer, it literally breaks your entire Windows install and it's unrecoverable? Well, that is actually true. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate it and also talk about why it happens. So if I do a Winver on my VM, you guys can see it's Windows 10 Home, not Pro, Home. 22H2 latest update as of October 1st, 2024. So this is fully up to date and we are going to upgrade with this product key, which this is a Windows 10 slash 11 Pro product key. So we're gonna do an upgrade. However, you can use this on a Pro machine as well and I'll demonstrate that too. But you can see our Windows is not activated because a product key wasn't found. What are we gonna do? We're gonna change our product key. And we're gonna paste this product key in. Now I'm not gonna show it because YouTube might get mad at me, but you can check over my Twitter. I'm gonna make a tweet about this and I'll leave a link to my Twitter in the description. You can find the tweet on there. I'm not gonna leave a link to the actual tweet just in case. But anyways, we're going to upgrade our edition. I mean, what can go wrong? We're just gonna upgrade our edition. All right, upgrade your edition to Windows. Upgrade your edition will add features. Before you start, make sure to save all work and all that. It'll It'll take a while and your device will restart, which I already showed you guys what edition it is. So I don't really need to worry about going into the about settings. Not like I can anyway, because it's upgrading. Anyways, we're gonna let this upgrade and we're gonna see what happens. As you guys can see, we got a blue screen of death, which says MUI, no valid system language. And the VM is permanently bricked. It's just going to keep doing this and it's just not going to be recoverable whatsoever. So essentially, we just bricked this virtual machine with a product key. Now you guys are probably wondering, how is this possible? Why is this happening? And I've dug into the research about it, and I'm actually going to go over why this happens. And then afterwards, I'm going to demonstrate it on some other virtual machines as well, very briefly. I don't want this video to be super long and in detail. But let's just see what this says. I will cut to it. So let's try running a startup repair on this and seeing if this can get us out of it. It could not repair, but what's the log file say? So we have two repair attempts. There is a root cause. So we're gonna scroll down and you can see root cause found, unknown bug check, bug check 12A, and it gives us parameters. And 12A is probably just that bug check that we had just gotten about the system language. And here it is again, same thing. So clearly this VM is screwed. It's never gonna boot again. I might as well just turn it off and delete the virtual machine, but I will show you guys, it does not boot anymore. It's gone. And I did not even take a snapshot either because I'm running out of disk space. So I can't do that right now. So I'm gonna end up deleting this VM and then I'm gonna move over and show you guys why this happens. So now guys, I have another VM. I'm going to do Winver. And you guys can see now this is a Windows 10 Pro 22H2 VM fully up to date as of today's date as well. And we're actually gonna check what product key it's using. So we're gonna do slmgr slash dli. And this will tell us what it's using. Cause you can see the partial product key, v 3v66t, which is the generic key that it uses for digital licenses. And obviously it's in notification mode because it's not activated. Now, funny thing, we can actually change the product key. So if we do slmgr slash ipk, so insert product key, and then we paste our product key, 
you can see that it just installed it successfully. So now if I go back to DLI, you can see we are now using this key instead of the 3v66t key, meaning that we just switched our product key. Now, interesting enough, if I go into activation, it actually says there's no product key found. But as I said, if I run this, there is a product key here. So we will just end up rebooting this VM and seeing what happens to this one. And then after that, I'm going to go into the demonstration on another Windows 10 Pro VM I have. However, there is a difference with that VM and you guys will see in just a moment. So the VM is trying to start. And as you can see, there's the blue screen again, MUI, no valid system language. Now, obviously this already had the SKU for Windows 10 Pro. So it didn't have to do that whole upgrade process like Windows 10 Home did because it actually had to upgrade to add the SKU before it would blue screen. But on Pro, if you just insert the key, either through settings by changing the key or doing SOMGR slash IPK and including the key, you know, it'll still insert the key and all that, but it'll obviously blue screen. So no matter how you do it, same result will happen and settings won't go through a, an upgrade process. It'll just say it couldn't activate because it couldn't reach the servers and it would have that same message saying that there's no product key or anything. Okay, enough said, why does this happen? Let's hop over to our special VM now. So what's unique about this VM, you say? Well, you'll probably look at the search bar and notice that it's in Chinese because this VM is Windows 10 Pro, but in Chinese. So we're going to open an admin CMD. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other VM. So if I do a Winver, you guys will see first, you know, it is Windows 10 Pro, but it is in Chinese, so you can't really read it. However, if we do the other command, which is SOMGR slash DLI, you guys will see clearly that this is Windows Professional Edition retail with the same key 3v66t, which is the generic key, which my other Windows 10 Pro VM had before I changed the product key. So now we're gonna try the same thing. So SLMGR slash IPK, and we're going to paste our key, which it isn't pasting, so give me a moment. All right, there we go. We just pasted our key. I had to copy it again. For some reason, it didn't copy my clipboard. So we did install that key. So if I run the DLI command again, you can see we are using that same key. Now, let's reboot it and see, will this VM survive? Or will this VM accept the fate just like my other VM did when I changed the product key? Well, only, way, only one way to find out, right? So does it boot? And what do you know? It starts up like nothing happened. Even though we changed our product key to the one product key that bricks the machine. Why is that? And let's just verify that it is still using the same key. So SLMGR slash DLI. When it's professional, same product key. Obviously it's not gonna be activated, it's in notification mode, but that's obviously normal because, you know, this isn't even connected to the internet, which by the way, to even do the upgrade on home, you have to disconnect the internet entirely. So even on pro, if you do it via settings, however, the IPK method, you don't have to. But why does this happen? Well, here's the explanation. This product key is actually meant for China. So if you don't have the Chinese language pack installed, your system will blue screen because the language doesn't exist. It's basically a China specific product key, which I found this very interesting because I didn't know that there were specific product keys for specific languages until today. Well, actually yesterday when I discovered this. So essentially, if you have the language pack installed, I believe it won't do this. This was a China ISO, by the way, but I will experiment by trying it on a virtual machine, that same ProVM, but I'll install the language pack first and I'll see if it does the same thing or not. However, that is the reason why this key does it. 
and it's very interesting because it's not something I would have, you know, ever expected. How just simply in inserting a product key is enough to brick your Windows installation. And I mean, maybe if you had a system restore point, you could recover from it. But if you didn't, that's not going to be very good, is it? So anyways, let's move on by showing you quickly what happens on my other VMs when I do this. I mean, are other Windows versions affected? Like older Windows 10 builds, newer Windows 11 builds, because so far you guys only saw it on Windows 10 22H2. What about others? Well, only one way to find out. So we got Windows 11 23H2, latest update as of today, same partial product key, professional. We're gonna change it to the other one, and this time we're gonna do the SOMGR slash IPK method, and we're gonna leave the internet connected because it doesn't matter with this method if you leave the internet connected. So we installed our product key successfully, and time to reboot. Will this have the same effect? Only one way to find out. What do you know? Same blue screen. It's affected by Windows 11 23H2 as well. All right, let's move on to Windows 11 24H2. Does it have this problem as well? All right, so Windows 11 version 24H2, latest update as of today. Same partial product key, professional. Let's insert the bad one. There we go, installed product key successfully, and let's just reboot. We already know it was successful, we don't need to verify it again. It's gonna happen, most likely. And there it is. So, 24H2, same issue, also affected. Moving on to one final VM. Well guys, we have Windows 10 build 10240, AKA 1507, which is the RTM release of Windows 10. Also professional, same partial product key. We're gonna see if RTM is affected because if this is affected, then all versions of Windows 10 are affected. So SOMGR slash IPK, and we're gonna paste it in. All right, installed successfully. Will RTM give us a blue screen? Well, there you guys have it. RTM has the same problem. And FYI, this VM had no updates installed whatsoever because I wasn't gonna bother with it. But updated or not, doesn't matter in this scenario. We already know why this happens. So anyways, that's that. For the sake of time, I'm not going to verify if installing the Chinese language pack would get around this, but based on the blue screen error saying MUI no valid system language, it means the MUI files for the language are not there and the system can't boot. So I assume if the language is installed, the MUI files would exist and it would work. I wonder if it would actually change the language to Chinese. I'd be very curious to know. But if you guys want to do further testing and let me know in the comments, feel free, or if anyone else ends up doing a video on this, maybe they can try to do that in a video. That would actually be a pretty good idea. But I just kind of wanted to put this video out here to pretty much say why this key does brick your install if it's not a Chinese install. Also to mention, there are other product keys that also brick your machine when you set them, and I assume they're for different languages, as there's probably product keys for different languages, so there are many out there that could do it. And also for reference, shout out to someone who told me about this, as they were the one that told me that this was a thing, and then I went to try it because I didn't believe this myself and it ended up actually working, and then I ended up making a video on it. But they actually found out from a Discord server, I'm not sure what server it was from, but that's where it was found out. So I don't have any other sources other than that because that's all I know, but I thought I'd mention that. If the person that told me this wants to leave a comment with more information, go ahead and I will pin it so you guys can check the pinned comments to see if it's there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day and bye-bye for now.